everyone. So I have a traveler's notebook spread for you today and I'm going to be working in my May 2018 traveler's notebook. I'm going to be using products from the Lollipop, Lollipop Box Club. If you've never heard of this kit club, it's a kit club from the UK and uh, it's kind of like my treat to myself every month. So I subscribe to this box. I usually use it just for my planner pages. I, I don't ever do videos with the things I make with it, except for today. <laughs> Mostly just because I like to have a product that's just mine to play with. Um, that I don't have any requirements attached to it and it's just mine to play with, right? Um, if you're on, uh, if you happen to be someone who's on design teams, then you can understand that need to have something that's just kind of yours hanging around in your stash, and that's what these uh, kits are for me. I also share them with my niece, so she comes to my house, and she says she gets her lollipop box um, kit, and uh, yeah, she crafts with me. So we split the kits directly in half down the middle. There are some things like the stamps that um, she doesn't want because she's only seven, but <laughs> we split the paper and she usually grabs all the stickers and, and stuff like that, so it's fun. Um, and I usually don't have any problem using it up because I do split it in half with my niece. So um, This stencil is from the October kit, so everything I'm using is from the October kit, which is... Um, my most recent kit. It had this little butter butterfly stencil, so I grabbed some of my Alta New Mini Ink Cubes and I'm going to do some stenciling through the middle of my page. And then I'm going to do some stamping. So this cutie patootie tiny little butterfly stamp was part of the kit and it's so adorable. So I decided that I was going to scatter these little stamped butterflies around the stenciled butterflies. This is a very butterfly heavy layout so I hope you like butterflies. And I'm just going to use all three of those same ink colors which is frosty pink, coral bliss, and deep iris and it's all from Altenew. So I have all these butterflies done now and if it looks like a lot of butterflies don't fret this is just the background and we're gonna cover most of those butterflies up. Actually no we're not. There's still gonna be a lot of butterflies because a lot of the butterflies we're gonna come up with cut up with more butterflies. So these are the paper you get six by eight papers and you get two of every kind. I only have one of every design. And then this beautiful um, book page which I definitely want to use on this layout. I'm going to tear two little strips and use it and then I'm also going to take that tissue paper right there which was part of the packaging. So kind of the really cool thing about the Lollipop Box Club is that the packaging is almost always like usable. So there isn't a lot of waste in these kits. They come in these little boxes. I don't know how Lisa, the owner, crams as much into the little boxes as she does, but she does. Um, and that helps with your shipping because, of course, it's coming from the UK. And um, so you get this tiny little, this little box and you're like, oh, that's a tiny kit. And then you open it and it's like jam-packed full of stuff. It's so cute. So um, I'm using that little offcut of the green paper. And I'm just going to go ahead and map my photos with both the purple and the book paper pieces. So I'm just trimming off the little offcut edges here. And I ended up doing my layers slightly different. So initially I thought I was going to do them like just to mat around my photo. But I decided I liked the idea of kind of tearing and uh, doing them this way. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rough cut some of these butterflies out of the tissue paper and I'm going to use these butterflies. I picked three partial butterflies, like one whole one and then two partial butterflies. And I'm going to use these butterflies. I'm going to fussy cut them. I'm going to adhere them down to my paper using Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive, almost like you would collage them down um, because they are really thin and delicate. So I put the adhesive on the back, but it did of course kind of squirt out and I 
that was fine with me because with these being so delicate, I really wanted them to be fully adhered to the paper. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and place those at three different areas and then that will be the base for three of my clusters. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add a little title just below this one, uh, Potted Flowers. I just want to write May Flowers. And I'm going to Frankenstein a whole bunch of letters together because I have started putting one set of letters on my desk and using them and using them and using them to try to get through some of my letter stickers. I know this has been like my goal since the summer to use up as many sheets of these kind of flat or puffy letter stickers as I can, uh, mostly because it's getting, I'm having a hard time storing them, and I have letter stickers that are like falling off the papers and stuff, and it's just, and I don't want to invest in a ton of supplies right now or like organization things, so I'd rather just use the letter stickers. <laughs> So that's what I'm doing. That's my that's my goal. I don't want to. I'm I'm really on a not wanting to spend a lot of money on craft supplies. Currently, uh, we have some other expenses going on in our house right now. So, I swear, like all my appliances are breaking. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with them, but every time I turn around, something is breaking in my house currently. So, you can see me here. I'm going to go ahead and adhere down these little um, butterflies with that are on the tissue paper and start working on these clusters. So you can see here how I did it. I put a lot of the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive on the back and um, then I really kind of like smoothed it out so that there was glue covering the entire back of the butterfly so they really stuck down well. So the next thing I want to do here is I took these little tabs that came in the kit and they're kind of creased and so what I did was so funny. I just kind of took them and tore them in half. <laughs> and then I'm going to grab some more of these black and white butterflies because I'm going to just go ahead and trim off the top and bottom. So I'm just going to work on these layers now. I chose three black and white die cut butterflies and I'm going to go ahead and um, adhere those down. And then I'm going to use those little scallopy uh, die cuts. Uh, one at the top there, you can see one at the top left, one at the bottom right, and I'm just going to do a little bit of uh, like date or phrase stamping in there. And yeah, we're just going to finish this up. So we're down to just the last couple little bits of this layout. So to finish this off, I added some pen doodling to put trails on my die cut butterflies. I added a date stamp, and now I have a phrase stamp here from Vicki Booten, and I'm just grabbing a couple phrases that I think are cute and a couple of these little uh, circles that are like lines that they have in the on the stamp set. And that's gonna complete this layout. I also wanna show you the cover of my May Traveler's Notebook because I used my Lollipop Box Club on that one as well. And then here's our spread. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all again Thursday. Bye.